Go. Baby mamas, this your song been pregnant for way too long. Too long. Hey, what is up you guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, um, I don't know. I just felt like I wanted to record and just update you guys on what's been going on. I have been trying to do so much to go into labor. Like it's just been just crazy and just like I've been trying to be patient, but it's just so hard to be patient when you have this date set in your mind that okay this is when my baby is about to come and the day comes and the baby is still not ready to come out i know a due date is just an estimate of when the baby is supposed to be here but it's just so hard because it's like dang i'm just so ready to meet my baby and she's still not here thanks my dad calling hold on you guys all right y'all Sorry about the little interruption, but you know, had to call my dad. He always cooking, so one thing for sure, like I said in a previous video, he gonna make sure I eat, okay? He always cooking, or he he gonna ask if he out if I want something to eat. So, and he got my daughter right now, so I'm gonna go over there in a little bit. But yeah, y'all. So I've been trying to do so many things from eating dates, from walking miles on top of miles walking around the lake from doing different stretches to try to open up my pelvic area and making sure that the baby is in the right position what else have i tried i've been working out doing squats my legs are sore okay can't have sex because my partner isn't here so that's out of the question but everybody has been telling me that sex is a huge part of helping you to go into labor and so you know i've been trying everything but i can't try that and the reason why they said sex um helps a lot is because it releases a hormone called hold on oxytocin i forgot what it was called but i believe it's that hormone but let me let you guys know for sure so yeah, so having sex increases your oxytocin levels, which is a hormone that helps to make you go into labor or have contractions and start contracting and stuff like that. But he don't think that's going to work. So whatever. I've just been doing whatever I can to try to help make this baby come. And yeah, it involves a lot of walking, a lot of working out, a lot of stretching. Your order... From Amazon has been shipped. Oh, I had ordered a pregnancy ball, y'all. So that's another thing. Um, one of those balls you bounce up and down on. I can just go to the gym, but I don't got a gym membership, and I'm not about to get a gym membership right now. So uh I just ordered me one of those big old balls from Amazon. I just got a notification saying my order has been shipped. And so I'll be doing that too. But enough of that, you guys. Let's just go ahead and I want to show you guys. I packed my baby bag and just want to show you guys what all that I have packed in my baby bag because I'm ready, been ready. So I got one of these bags as a gift for my baby shower. And I think it's just so cute. It is just too, too cute. So, as you guys see, it says mommy bag, and then it comes with these small bags. So, this is mommy's treasures, and then it has another small bag for baby necessities. So, I just put baby clothes up in here. Maybe I should bring some, like, some baby lotion and stuff for... But I feel like they'll have all of that stuff at the hospital where i'll be delivering the baby like they'll have lotion they'll have shampoo wash all of that stuff so i didn't want to just overpack when i don't need to so all i'm bringing is an outfit to go home for the baby i'm bringing a little blanket just in case it might be cold when we're leaving um, but i know they'll provide blankets as well it's hot outside don't need to bring one of those big old blankets I'm bringing a couple of different outfits just depending on how it feels outside and things like that. So I'm bringing this one. This is cute. Um, and then it has like these little mittens to go with. 
and then it also has like a matching hat to go with so just in case it's cold and i just feel like i'm gonna have a big old baby because she's still up in there growing she's still up in my stomach growing and i just know she is going to be a big baby definitely bigger than my first because i had my first a little bit before my due date like a few days before and so she was six pounds like six pounds seven ounces and so i know this one during my ultrasound at like 34 weeks she was like six pounds already so yeah gonna have a big baby and then i also brought different onesies you guys just in case if i want to change her into something cute while we at the hospital <laughs> just being extra y'all this one says mommy's whole world um just haven't decided which one i was gonna put her in and then um if she wears one of the onesies i'm gonna throw her on some socks and then i'll throw her on those little mittens and then maybe one of these um headbands but yeah that's pretty much all i have packed for the baby i might pack some other stuff that i really need but i don't think i need anything besides a going home outfit because the hospital provides everything literally everything for the baby now for myself um so mommy treasures in this little pouch right here i have packed like my toothbrush um some toothpaste some face lotion i need to get some body lotion i might just get like some oil or something and put it in here i got some soap i have my my glasses and my contact lenses and my solution for my contacts so that's all in that little pouch and then in a big bag oh i just grabbed some wipes either for me or the baby you know at the pregnancy you know you're gonna need some wipes for yourself or even before after whatever you just need wipes okay when you go into the bathroom you need wipes okay these little slippers so yeah i'm gonna bring these um little house shoes i have um two bras up in here i have some socks up in here i have um some pajamas so these pajamas this is a pajama set um I'm bringing this now this is long sleeves pants and this is if i get cold i'm gonna wear this one or um you know if, if it's not cold in the room if it's a little warm or whatever i'm gonna bring this pajama set as well uh, now this is short sleeves and then this is shorts they're gonna provide me with like some underwears because i know last time when i had my first daughter they gave me these underwears to wear and they're like i can't explain it maybe i'll put a picture on the, the screen to show you guys what type of underwear but if you've had children then you probably know what i'm talking about but yeah those type of underwears that's what i had in mind that's why i didn't pack any so i have me a going home outfit as well so my going home outfit is going to be these nike biker shorts and a t-shirt i am not getting dressed because why what's the point this has been the vibe what is the point of getting dressed uh, uh there's no point of getting dressed but that's pretty much it that's in my bag you definitely don't want to overpack and that's exactly what i'm trying not to do because i know the hospital will provide a lot of stuff anyway and so the only other thing that i feel like i will need is some snacks probably because sometimes the hospital food don't be good or it can be expensive but i know that they will provide you with free meal tickets as well because i remember that from my last child and i know that i will have people who will be bringing me food too so i'm like should i bring snacks maybe i will bring a little bit of snacks not too much i'm not gonna do too much so i'll bring just a little bit besides that y'all I don't like I said I don't want to overpack and so I didn't I was trying not to you know do too much and put too much up in here because I really don't need a lot I don't need to bring pampers because they're gonna provide pampers um I don't need to bring baby bottle things like that because I'm breastfeeding and so she's gonna be on the boob got my breast pump 
yesterday it came in the mail if you watch one of my previous videos i said that i got one of these electrical hands-free pump as a gift from my baby shower and i had to send it back because the person who bought it bought the wrong size and so i just got the right size in the mail yesterday and this is the company or the brand that i got this is it right here i don't know if you guys can see let's let it focus so it's a wearable breast pump electric breast pump so maybe i'll put the link um to this breast pump in the description box below so you guys can check it out but yeah i'm really excited to try this breast pump out this will be my first time trying out an electrical hands-free breast pump and i'm super excited about that but let's go ahead and check out and see what all comes in this in this box so of course it comes with the breast the pump so this is what it looks like yeah i have size 27 because my boobs are big and so i need the biggest size and then it comes with some breast milk storage bags let's see so two pumps for each boob it comes with this bag so i'm guessing um this is like a little storage bag that i can place all the items in um that's my guess and then it also comes with like a charger let me see let me open it up so this looks like it goes to the pump these are some things that go to the pump and then oh these are like these charges go to my um same type of charges that go to my my mac computer but it comes with two different chargers for each pump and then it comes with some straps i wonder what these straps are for so two straps so it comes with a bra adjustment buckle y'all yeah, really can't wait to try this out so if i need to adjust the length of my bra straps and make the su suction more comfortable that is what i would use these straps for but yes that's pretty much what all comes inside of this i know there are so many different um electrical breast pumps that are out there this is the one that i saw on amazon that i thought was pretty cool and that i like but make sure you guys um, if you plan on getting a breast pump make sure you go ahead and check with your insurance and because your insurance will cover it may not cover the whole entire fee for these electrical breast pump but i know it will cover some so you may just have to come out of pocket paying a hundred dollars 200 150 all i know is that they will cover some me on the other hand i didn't get this through my insurance like i said i got this as a gift for my baby shower but i went ahead and got a different pump through my insurance and it's one of those ones where i have to plug into the wall but at least i have two breast pumps if this one is in charge or something like that i'll have another one where i can use so yes you guys again it's about it besides all that y'all i'm i'm feeling good like my energy is there like my attitude and my mood be off sometimes but the energy is is there um still feeling good not having any complications or anything so i'm blessed and i'm thankful for that that i'm still in good health and my baby is still healthy she's still active she's still moving and things like that there's not really much to like really talk about as far as like any changes and i didn't do the what to expect for this video because i have no changes really like no mucus plug no water broke no changes so i'm just trying to do everything that i can like i said to naturally induce this baby and you know start contracting so i can meet my baby girl because it is time and i'm so ready to meet her i cannot wait Let's do a bump update bump update real quick real quick 
before I let you guys go. Oh, I'm big, y'all. I'm so big. Uh, and, uh, that's about it. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, you guys. I hope that you have enjoyed watching this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment sections below. Do not forget to hit that notification bell and that subscribe button and that like button if you enjoyed today's video. And I will see you all on the next one. Bye. Go. Baby mamas, this your son been pregnant for way too long. Too long.